first game in Rochester, we, we were talking about that, and we sort of veered off because I was asking you some other things. But tell me how, how the game went and how you felt when it was over. Well, you hate to lose. Uh, we lost. And I, 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 I felt good about myself. You know, I only took three shots. Uh, made two out of three, made two free throws out of, out of three attempts. But what I was most proud of, I was most proud of the fact that, not in the points I scored, I was proud of the fact that I made the team in rebounds and made the team in assists. Two crucial areas. I, I, so I felt, you never feel good about your performance when you lose, it because you, you know, you want to perform in a level way, you make sure that, but, uh, We had a good bunch. We, we, we I, I think we would have done some good things. Um, I played seven games, and then you know I, I had the distinction of being drafted twice in the same year. I got drafted by the Washington Capitals, then I got drafted by the U.S. Army. <laughs> you can guess who I had to defer to. Right? <laughs> you know, I you know, guys, how you feel about going to the Army? I said, I don't want to go, man. But everybody else is going. Korea. Now, I'm, no, I'm no better than they are, man. Mm -hmm. You know, I said, now, I knew I was going because, man, I was fit as a fiddle. There ain't no way in the world I'm going to not pass a physical. I'm gone, you know. So you were drafted, and where were you sent? Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Had an interesting six months there before we, 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 we got transferred to uh, Fort Hill, Oklahoma. Uh, they couldn't fit me. I was in army six months with no army clothes. So I used to say, why, don't, why are you all keeping me here? The beds are too small, and my, you got no clothes for me. Why are you all keeping me here? He said, we keep you because we love you. <laughs> for six, six months, months, they, six couldn't, months. they couldn't get uniforms for you that no, they fit? Couldn't, they couldn't fit me. You know, it's really funny. Um, my two brothers were in the Army. And during that time, you know, there, there was a song, like when you got drafted, the song was, bring enough clothes for three days, that's all you need, <laughs> because after three days, they go, I don't fit you. So I bought enough clothes for three days, and they could not fit me. And then white buckskins were in then, you know, I had my white buckskin <laughs> shoes on, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sergeant, the sergeant called me over and said, Lloyd, can I ask you a question? I said, yes, yes, I Do you have any brown shoes? I said, man, I don't have any. Look, I said, look, man, I, 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 I follow the same mantra that my brothers follow. I bought no clothes for three days. It's your responsibility to clothe me, man. I don't, that's all. I got white buckskin shoes. <laughs> I'll tell you what, when six months later, when, that, when my clothes came, well, I was on God, dude, in KPL. <laughs> they had a lot of catching up to do with me. You know? <laughs> then, we, then we went to Fort Sill, and that's when things, you know. Uh, I know why we, we, we fought that war so long in Korea, but we sent some sorry people on that war. <laughs> we had, I tell you, boy, <clears throat> you know. <laughs> We were, uh, we, we were like an overseas replacement company, a um, battalion. And, well, and, and what they would do is... All know, black. All, all black? black and all white officers. You know, they, they would send a list down, you know, battalion headquarters would send a list to each company about who was going. And they just put names on it, you know. So we, we used to call our orderly room, we used to call it the, uh, the little Pentagon. You know, when the list came down, they down there, all the officers, they down there, he's sorry if Sandy Hill, you know, <laughs> we, we had an honor guard company, so we, the, the good soldiers are going to stay behind. But we said, I said, no wonder we didn't, know, wonder we didn't lose it, but we sent some sorry dudes over there. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so you didn't, you didn't have to worry about being sent over. No, no. Well, you know what? It, it's amazing how timing is so important in your life. Uh, I come to command, there was a guy, Clarence Westfall, I'll never forget him, his captain, he was our company commander, paratrooper, 
bad dude. <laughs> He's a bad dude, you know. But if you got to go, this is the guy you want to go with. He was the only West Point in the battalion. They hated him. Hated him. But boy, I tell you what, boy. And he always said, you soldier for me, I soldier for you. And we soldier for him, you know, and, 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 and any perk we could get. Like he used to pay us like 10 o'clock in the morning on payday. All other guys get paid 4 o'clock. Took yes. care of you. He took care of his men. 